Hello there everybody, it's Technojock, back with another Vanilla Minecraft survival. And I am in a gigantic hole in the ground. No prizes for guessing what we're doing today, it's going to be a slime farm. And this one is directly under my base. That hole there that you can see just there, it comes out just next to the tree bit. Between the tree and where my chicken pen is. And I have hollowed out this massive area here. It has taken me quite some considerable length of time to do, and um, most of a diamond pickaxe or two, because I had to repair this a couple of times. Now, what I have started doing already is I am at Y level 39, and I have started putting in this floor here. Um, and then if we come down a little bit, um, you will see that this is three blocks beneath, because I can jump here. It's all nice. So this is going to be our next floor. Um, and then we're going to come out and uh, fill in this bit here. Now, if I come down to this level here, this bit is all squared in. And if I turn on the chunk borders, you will see the bit that I'm stood in at the moment is a slime chunk. In fact, does it actually say if it's a slime chunk on here? I don't think it does. Um, no, I don't think it does, unless I'm missing something, perhaps you can point it out, if I am being unobservant. But as you can see, this crosses over slightly, and there are three blocks here. This is a one, two, three block gap on this side, and we've got the same on the far side over there. I'm going to turn that off so it's not so annoying. But that's what we've got. We've got one chunk square with a little bit on either side. And the little bit on either side is where the slimes are going to jump off to their doom. So what I need to do is I need to put in little layers, three apart each time. So that one's going to be one there. And then we're going to come down. This one's going to be one. And then we come down one, two, and then three. Yeah, this is going to be here. And I think... That's going to be one, two, and then this is going to be the third one. Yes, that's how it's going to work. So I need to go along and fill in all of these bits using all of this lovely stone slabs. As you can see, um, I need to take out this bit of wall here, there, um, on that top level. I've done it in most of the other bits, and I have tidied up most of the walls, but really, to be perfectly honest, it's not necessary. Don't worry about that. Oh, hello. I'm going to worry about that. Clearly need to light up the floor a little bit better. Definitely, definitely don't need his kind in here, but there is some diamonds down here, and that's an access way that I had, because I had stairs coming up the side, but I shall be getting rid of that shortly. So I need to go along and just fill in all the way along here, fill in each of these three down as I go, and what I need to do here as well is what I'm wanting to do. Take out that one, and then I can go down two to there. So that's going to be a two high bit. And then the next one starts there. Um, and if I come out like so, like so, it would appear that I've accidentally put in two, but that's fine. like this and I can fill in this one as well. So I need to do that quite a bit and I shall see you in a minute. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm going to do it right the way down and I'm going to fill it right in and then as you can see the bedrock is showing through there. So um, I will need to clear out this floor to find the highest bit of bedrock and then that's going to be the limit of how far down we can go and I need to put in a little bit of leeway in between the last spawning platform and where we have our collection system, because we'll need some rail carts underneath. So I shall see you once I've got all these put in. And there we go, that's all the floors in nicely. I've still got stairs up and down so I can get up to all the floors, but as you can see, these are now two and a half blocks between each other because we've got slabs all the way, so you can just jump a little bit. And this is sufficient space for big slimes to spawn. And as you can hear, we've actually had some slimes spawning. This was a big one and it fell down the side. So we have a successful slime farm so far. Very, very manual. Right. 
this is going to be the final spawning platform. It's going to ultimately be the kind of um, ground floor. This will be the basement bit that has bits and bobs going at it. So we are going to grab ourselves. There we go. Here's a big one. Um, we are going to go up and grab ourselves some stuff from the base because I forgot to get it. So as you can see, we're through here. We're along here and we're down in our mining area. Everything is uh, going according to my great master plan at this point and it looks like it's dark outside so we'll have to hurry and do some stuff up here so i want to grab some magma blocks some red hot magma blocks and i think i should have some yes i've got plenty so if i put those in there like that and we're going to need to get a bunch of rails as well um what do I want? I want some levers, just for proof of concept at the moment. And that should be good just now. I've got some iron. Yes, I do have some iron and some bits and bobs. Picked up some iron ore when I was digging about as well. So we're going to want one of you just for the proof of concept at the moment. Right, put that back in there, and I think we'll get rid of that, 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 and that in there. Just now, cool beans, thank you, let me out, and we'll go back down and put in the stuff that we're wanting because. Um, so we're going to have magma blocks that are going to ultimately kill the slimes, and then we're going to have rail carts underneath that. Did I just go to the right bit? I think I did. Um, yes, yeah, so they're going to fall down. They're going to then land on the magma blocks. And they're going to die down here. So the magma blocks... Go. This is going to get tiresome, but never mind. It is ultimately why we want this stuff anyway. So let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. So we're going to have our magma blocks like this. all the way along. Hopefully I'll have enough. And we're gonna need... Oh yeah, plenty. Excellent. And we're gonna need to have some blocks along like so. So we're gonna have rail carts coming along here. I'm going to need to knock through at least here, I think, would probably be a good place. Excellent. Calypso's saying hello as well. Hello, Calypso. Yeah. And um, so we will have... How are we going to do this? So we want the rail cart going along and then dropping off probably over here. So the drop-off point will be here or perhaps through there. I'm going to need to get rid of that. This is going to make a mess, but we'll deal with it in just a second. Um, need to have a chest. Come on, pick up a chest. Pick up a chest. There we go. 34 chests, that'll do. Um, and we're going to have plenty in here. Like so, right. Um, let's pick up the rest of the stuff so we don't end up despawning our um, beacon, which would make me have a sad face. Right. Gonna want more of this. And we're gonna have the offloading bit here. So we want to go along there, turn, go along there, turn, and then go back that way. So it's gonna actually end there. Right. So that's where we want a powered rail, and we want non-powered ones there, like that, and like that, because they are going to turn. Um, and I will need to power that last one there, but we don't want that, we want like that. Cool. Excellent. And now if I take that, if we take 
that block out, power that like that, that's nice, yes, that will work nicely, then we're going to come along with this, and then we're going to have like that, and like that, excellent, that's going to come down to here, and it's going to turn and turn and we'll do something here like so yes that will work nicely how far down will this in fact we don't need all of them done as powered rails do we so let's not waste powered rails let's just use normal ones like so Now, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's the eighth one there. So we'll put another powered one there. Um, be good idea. I've got redstone blocks or something. Or I could, yeah, I could power that block. No, not like that. So the the uh, bedrock is just there, you see, so I can't make this another level down and still have room for uh, and still have room for the rails and stuff. That'll work nicely. Excellent. I like that. I like that a lot. Right. And then that's going to come over. That's the eighth one. Then one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have Um, yeah, we're going to have like this, and we're going to have another block like that. Yep, that's that powered. So that should, if I get my minecart, allow this to go from there. Oh... Ooh, it just makes it, it just makes it, but that's a bit ugly, isn't it? Why don't we add in another couple of rails there? Just to get it going. Like so. Let's just do that. And see how that looks. I don't want to waste too many powered rails, but by the same token, I don't want to be stingy on it. See, that's not really going to do... Shall we just waste powered rails? Or maybe maybe I need an extra one in there. Like that to power it up a little bit more. Maybe that'll do it. Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's perfect. And then I'll have... Can I get away with taking that one out? putting in a non-powered rail. There we go, like that. And then we'll have... Uh, like so, and we'll have two powered rails there, so... We'll have another... Like so... And we'll try this again. Perfect, that's going to work nicely. Yes, very happy with that. So I will get that put in there and an unloading station, and I will do the same on the other side. That's one done, and we're just about done over here. All the power drills are in place. I've swapped it over, actually, so that the collection's at that end, just so I've got space to come in here. I was just kind of running out of space here, and I saw little reason to crowd myself. So it's, this is the same unloader as we've got in the sugarcane farm. So just need to have the hopper going in here with our comparator coming out. It goes into a block which has a redstone torch on it. We've got a redstone, uh, a redstone-y denoting block, some sort of solid block that uh, transfers redstone there and then that there and then that bit of redstone on the top there. And that's it. Basically three redstone components plus the rail. And if we pop that on there, 
off it goes around there. We do have an off switch here. We can turn that one off and it'll get stuck on this rail if we really, really need to. But let's go head on up and you'll see nothing in that one. And, oh, we've got a slime ball there. Um, we'll take it out though and we'll go up here just to prove the point. Here we go and we'll go um, and go like so and like that cool those ones have already been picked up those ones have already been picked up and there we go that's it stopping on there and it is putting the slime balls in the chest and off it goes again this one should already be done as well. Yes, it is. And there we go. We're up to our 32 in that one. There. That is that bit done. Next up then, um, I need to... I think I can close up the bottom here now. Yeah, I think I can close up the bottom. But I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it just now, just in case. And then I need to put in the iron golems. All right, the next bit of putting in the golems is not as easy as you might think. So I'm going to press shift and hold on here. And we're just going to make this guy here. I've already had one keel over. Because um, I put him too close to that edge. Or too close to that wall. And he got stuck in it. Come on, shift over a bit. Thank you. There we go. Ow. And then, come on, out from there a bit. Excellent. There we go. And then if I just back out here, there. Perfect. That should be good. And I can put in these ones like that. And then these ones. Oops. Not that that's the end of the world. You just stay in there, dude. I don't want to have to start moving you around. But that should do. So that gets him in there. Um, and he can see out. The slimes can see him from here. And also, they can see him from up here as well. See his eye lines just there. So that's going to be perfect. His eye lines there as well. That should cover it. Need one on either side because the range is 16. So that one wouldn't quite reach all the way over to here. And vice versa. Could probably get away with one. And the ones here would eventually kind of wander over to here and then see him. But, you know, we've got an iron farm. So why not? Why not? So that does that two levels. And then we'll have another one based on this level. So if we come out here and come over like so, then we'll have like that. And we'll just make this little cubby hole here for one. Like so. So it's a four wide and it'll be three deep. Like this. Oops. Like so. And then if we go. Actually, I think I can go like that. Then I can go like that, that, that like that and I can go like that and I just need to shove him in a little bit more and we should be good come on come on there we go there we go perfect we'll hem him in like that do like that and what I'll do is I'll put torches on either side and that way nothing can spawn in there with them. I should do that with the one down there as well. Did it with the first one that I made off camera but I have not done it with this guy so let's just go you there, you there, perfectly lit up, nice. He can see what he's doing, he can see what he's doing and I just need to get the other ones in. So I need one over there 
Let's see one more, and then he'll do this one, and then I need another two up here, so that's three in total. And then four, five. So quite a bit actually. And this. Oh, I'm, no, I'm going to need more. So I'm going to need a lot more actually. Yeah. Excellent. Oh! That wasn't nice. Didn't like that at all. Where did he spawn from? I thought this place was light enough, but clearly not. And I need so I need to go around and sort that out as well. How irksome. I think I'm getting the knack of this. So I make a little bridge over, I open up a four by four by three deep hole. I line one or two corners of it, or two sides of it in the corner there like that with the uh, the fences, I can put another one up there as well. Then I make my little golem statue, snip it, and then I can quickly go in and go like this, and then shove him a little bit further, and then close it up like so. Just close up these like so stops any slimes getting in and then we can light it up like that and that's another side done so i've got loads in so far so i've got these three there and then i've got the three on the other side done up to this point as well and i've just got a few more to do so it's been running for a couple of hours now and we've got a full stack nearly a stack and a half in that one on this side, two and nearly a half stacks in there. So that is fantastic. Um, I was just stood upstairs in one of the houses up there, which should be close enough that it allows these things to spawn here. I'm very happy with that. So I want to do some prettying up of this, make sure this is all looking nice down here, and maybe an easier way of getting to our slimes and back up and down from here as well. And here we are, post prutification We've got our unloading station. I discovered that I do have to go from a hopper into a chest and then back into a hopper because otherwise the other hopper draws through. If I just go straight on a hopper chain down, um, this system doesn't actually pick up that there's something in this hopper. Uh, quickly enough, or rather it's pulled through so quickly it doesn't get a chance to detect it, so the, the minecart doesn't actually stop here long enough to be able to unload all of its stuff, so that's why we've got this sort of set up, and I'll show you. It does work. There you go. That's it must have picked up something somewhere. This side, maybe. I heard it go. Let's go and throw on this side as well. Yeah. You can hear it working. And you can see the slime balls going up there. That's all working lovely there. So that's another one of these dropper systems going straight up into a water column that we used over in the kelp farm as well. And we've got a lift system here, or an elevator system with a bubble elevator here on this side. We can have a look in there as we go up. And we come up into this bit here. But yeah, the drop system is quite cool. It just goes all the way down, and there's one bit there that I've left open. Um, so the water breaks our fall and not our legs. And I can hear another slime jumping around, so we should have some more slime going up here in just a moment. And we shall see. We've got a little house up here that houses this bit here. And that is just next to our chicken coop. And it's attached on the back of this. So this is looking pretty cool here. We've got, because it's a sort of an outhouse bit, we've just got some uh, wooden fence posts in there. Keeping that all nice. But it looks pretty good. Quite happy with how this is looking. Fits in with the theme. And then over here, we've got this set up here as well. So we have a little housey over in this bit. And this is where all of the slime balls are coming up here. Phenomenal. This is great. So it just comes up 
out of there and then flows over onto the top of that hopper there and then into this chest here and as you can see it's been going for a little while not a very very long time but it has been going and um, I was hoping to see some slime balls coming up there but uh, nothing coming through at the moment right there's there's a I'll just take all that so we've got full stacks in there I'll just show that this does work and we'll see if we can chase things up here let's go down much quicker than uh, a bubble descendivator oh there's stuff coming through here so let's put that in there and quickly race up so we'll hear it going I can see things going so they're going scooting up the water we'll race them run over we should see yeah that's it going up there perfect we should see them yeah we can see them they float up and then they just come over everything goes in here and that is ideal that's up over a stack so we are clearly getting a decent number coming in because what was it 40 odd that i took down so there's nearly half a stack in that time that is excellent very very happy with that so we have a fully functional slime farm down there as well um and a little bit more housing and color and just texture up here i'm very pleased with how that's worked we've got plenty of slime now i already have an idea of what i need for the next bit because there's one more thing i wanted in the slime farm there um just to tidy things up and get things as i wanted so that's for next time and i hope you will join me the next time but until then folks please do remember like and subscribe if you haven't already and i shall see you the next time when we're all gonna have a funs bye, -bye.